Hello, quick update regarding my robotic framework for Power Automate Desktop. As you may remember from my last video, the framework that I have built works only with Excel. So each transaction is actually a row from Excel table, but now I have made it compatible with queues. What queues you may ask? Well, Power Automate has queues, but I would call them far from ideal solution. That's why I have created my own queuing system. For that purpose, I decided to use Firestore database from Google Cloud Platform. I decided to use it as it is serverless solution, so I will not have to think about setting up a machine or installing the database. It has very good performance and it has very good API, so I will be able to access queue items directly from the robot using simple web request. So let me show how it works and what I have changed compared to the previous version. First of all, I get rid of all Excel related activities in the init stage. I no longer need them as Firestore will be my place where I store my data. The same in the get transaction. I no longer need to refer to the Excel file. Instead of that, I just call web service. In the request body, I define that I want first available item with the status new. Then quick verification if the response is correct and if there are still items in the queue. If the response starts with document, that means that there are still some items in the queue. I convert the response from JSON string to custom object. In the else section, I assign values from custom object to the process related variables. Process transaction stays almost the same, but when it comes to mark completed, business or system exception, instead of saving the outcome of the transaction in the Excel file, I'm using the web service request to store information back in the Firestore. Each queue item has its own unique ID, so it is very convenient to save the stat status back in the same Firestore record. The end process stays almost the same. Ok, now quick presentation how it works. First let me add few items to the queue. For that purpose I am using the web service request and put some items into the queue. We can consider that it is a small dispatcher pro process that adds item to the queue. Now, in the Firestore console, I can find these few items that I have just added. Uh, I will remove value from cache-in to trigger a business exception. Now let me run the robot. The same as the last time, I will allow the first item to be processed correctly, the second should throw a business exception and the third one will be retried. On the fourth item, I will be closing application by force, so after three retries, the robot will mark item as system exception. As you can see, it works quite well. It's not maybe a full-scale queuing system, but definitely the method that allows you to orchestrate processes. The statuses has been properly updated in the Firebase queue items. That's all for now. Please stay tuned for other RPA videos.